right now, particularly with, with COVID, we're using this more and more frequently. And, and unfortunately, it's a very limited resource. Um, you know, it's important to know that ECMO is not actually a treatment for COVID or, or really any medical problem. It's really just trying to support the body um, the, the length of time that it needs to recover. And so with some heart problems, sometimes that's a very short time. Un unfortunately, what we've seen with COVID is this can be weeks and, and um, that's really challenging. Um, to be on this this very aggressive care for so many weeks that every day comes with complications and risk. Um, you know, our patients that are in the hospital, um, most of them are unvaccinated. Our sickest of the sick patients are, are very much mostly unvaccinated, up to 90% even in the hospital, and that's, that's nationwide. And so, it, you know, although we do use this in extreme heroic measures, I, I think most people would agree that this is not something that you want to stand in line for to, to be on. And so I would encourage everybody to get vaccinated as soon as you can. There, you don't want to be in the hospital. You certainly don't want to be in the ICU. And you most certainly don't want to be on ECMO if you can, if you can stand it. So get vaccinated, um, you know, social distancing, wash your hands, wear your mask outside in public, even if you are vaccinated. I think you know there are only a few things that we know works with with trying to prevent catching COVID and having these really bad complications with hospitalization and and even needing ECMO in the first place. So, do what you can to prevent it and get vaccinated today.